Hey everybody, welcome back to TSC Connect. I know we haven't been consistent with posting videos over the last few weeks, but that's for two reasons. One is I headed to Australia to work with our team, the Scoliosis Collective there, and we were quite busy over the few weeks, um, and so we weren't able to record anything. And then two, for those of you who follow us on Instagram, you might have seen that we had a major flood at our Vancouver location, which is where we shoot a lot of our videos. And so the last few weeks, our team has been quite busy trying to shift around our therapists and all of our clients, and also trying to figure out a new space and a time where we could shoot more videos. So we thank you so much for your patience with that. Today's video is a scoliosis friendly back strengthening workout, which was suggested to us by one of our YouTube viewers. So thank you so much for that. This workout uses movements of the shoulders and the trunk to try and activate those muscles of the back without doing too much rotation, side flexion, extension, or flexion. So really trying to maintain that neutral spine. For this workout, you'll need a TheraBand, two small hand weights, and a footstool. So take this time to go and grab those things before we actually get started. If you have any other requests or comments or questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below and then we'll try and answer them as soon as we can. Otherwise, enjoy your workout. See you next time. For our warm up, let's start with basic trunk elongation. Stand slightly behind a doorway and hinge forward to reach your arms up on the frame. As you inhale, expand your back ribs and across your collarbone. Don't raise your shoulders up. Relax them down to lengthen your neck. Do this for 30 seconds to bring awareness to your breath and rib cage mobility. Ready, set, go. Let's bring some movement into your shoulders and upper back muscles. Stay standing in the door frame and reach your arms up, grow tall and expand your rib cage. Sweep one arm down to your side without losing your rib cage expansion. Return to start and repeat on the other side. Alternate sides for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Now let's warm up your lower back muscles. Stand with your hands on the back of your head with your elbows open wide. Slowly reach your sit bones backwards as you hinge your hips to lower your trunk. Then push into your heels to stand back up. Repeat this movement continuously, keeping a gentle bend in your knees. Make sure you don't drop your elbows down or collapse forward or overarch your back. Do this movement with a neutral spine for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's get into it. Stand in a neutral and elongated stance, holding a TheraBand vertically with both thumbs facing to the ceiling. Then position the TheraBand to be on a diagonal. Pull both arms apart while keeping your shoulders level. Return to the start position without releasing the tension on the band. Repeat for 30 seconds on this side, then switch your hand position to do the opposite diagonal for another 30 seconds. Ready, set, go.
switch sides in three, two, one. For rows with a TheraBand, tie a knot in the middle of your TheraBand and pinch it in the door, or loop it around something stable at chest height. I'll give you a few seconds to do this. Step back so that the band is on slight tension when your arms are extended in front of you. Bend into a mini squat. Align your ribcage over your pelvis and draw your elbows back, keeping them close to your body. Make sure not to arch your back. Repeat this rowing movement, maintaining a lengthened spine for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Move your TheraBand to be looped or pinched in a doorway at a point overhead. I'll give you some time to shift your TheraBand now. Depending on how stretchy or long your band is, you may need to change where you're holding onto it. With your arms reaching overhead, the band should be on slight tension. Pull your elbows down to a 90 degree angle, keeping your head in line with your trunk. Return to the start position and repeat this pulling motion for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Take a moment to get your TheraBand down, hold it out in front of you so you can do a second round of diagonal TheraBand pulls for 30 seconds on each side. Ready, set, go. Switch sides in three, two, one. Anchor the TheraBand at chest height again for a second round of rows with the TheraBand. And we'll pause here for a few seconds to let you get into that position. Okay, we're going to do this exercise again for 30 seconds. Try to maintain length in your spine and ribcage expansion. Ready, set, go.
move the TheraBand for the last time to be at the top of the doorway for a second round of lat pulldowns, working the largest muscle on your back. We'll give you a few seconds to shift this. Find your start position. We're doing this movement for 30 seconds. Remember to keep your elbows wide and shoulders away from your ears. Ready, set, go. For four point rows, grab your stool and one weight and transition to your knees with your empty hand propped on the stool. Actively push up through your supporting shoulder. Draw your free arm upward to brush along your side, bringing your elbow toward the ceiling. Lower back down to the start position. And if you want a challenge, increase the weight that you're holding. Ensure not to rotate your trunk as you lift. Do this movement for 30 seconds on one side, then switch sides for another 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Switch sides in three, two, one. Next is the reverse fly. Stand up and hold one weight in each hand. Reach your pelvis back so your trunk is angled forward, lengthening through your spine. Bend your elbows, then open your arms up and back to be in a W position, then return to the start. Repeat this flapping motion for 30 seconds, making sure not to over arch or round your trunk. Stay neutral. Ready, set, go. Transition back to four point, keeping your weights close by. Press up through your shoulders and keep your belly button lifted to support your spine. Extend your opposite arm and leg out, then bring that elbow and knee towards each other, maintaining a neutral spine. Repeat the movement, making sure you don't round or over arch. And for a challenge, hold on to one of your weights. Do this for 30 seconds on this side, then switch to the other side for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Switch sides in three, two, one.
Grab your stool and prop your hands onto it for a second round of rows. Do this for 30 seconds on one side, then switch for another 30 seconds. Ready, set, go! Switch sides in three, two, one. Move back into standing and hinge forward for a second round of reverse fly. Repeat this movement for 30 seconds, making sure not to arch as you lift your arms. Ready, set, go. Go back to your four point position one last time for bird dog. Repeat this movement on one side for 30 seconds, then switch sides for another 30 seconds. Choose to hold a weight if you want a challenge for this round. Ready, set, go. Switch sides in three, two, one. Move into a kneeling position. Feel free to prop on a yoga block, or you can sit on a chair or stool. Interlace both hands overhead without flaring your rib cage. Think about lengthening up, 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 then gently draw your head and arms to one side. Breathe into your side body for 30 seconds, then switch sides. Stay lengthened, don't collapse into your valleys or your lower back. Ready, set, go. Switch sides in three, two, one.
For modified child's pose, place your hands on the floor and raise your hips in the air. Slowly lower your shoulders so that your arms and trunk are in a line. Reach your sit bones away from your fingertips and don't collapse down to the floor. Breathe slowly, focusing on elongation for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Transition back to standing to reassess how your body feels. Stand in the doorway for one last round of spinal elongation. As you breathe deeply, notice, how do your back ribs feel? How is your breathing? Does your spinal elongation feel any different? Breathe slowly, tuning into your inhales and exhales for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. You've completed your workout for today. Great job, see you next time.